Russell and Ellie had been married for six years. Ellie worked as a manicurist and Russell worked as a landscaper for a small company. A couple of years ago, they had taken out a mortgage on their apartment and were gradually furnishing it. Despite their desire to have a child, they hadn't been able to do anything for over a year. They were both ready to become parents, but despite undergoing examinations which showed that everything was normal, they could not conceive a child. They did not want to take any drastic measures and hoped that someday it would happen. Russell had a close friend named Craig who lived alone and was having bad luck with relationships. They had known each other since middle school and had kept in touch over the years. Although they saw each other infrequently in adulthood, their bond remained strong. One afternoon, Craig was busy with a repair job and decided to take a walk in the park. Lost in his thoughts, he tripped over a rock in the middle of the path, which brought him back to reality. Looking around to see if anyone had seen him fall, he noticed a familiar silhouette up ahead. Cautiously approaching, he recognized Ellie, his friend's wife, walking next to another man. Hello, exclaimed Craig, stepping closer. Ellie turned around and greeted him in surprise. Oh, hello. Didn't expect to see you here. Ellie's companion extended his hand and introduced himself. I'm Jeremy. At this point, Ellie tensed slightly and bit her lip. However, she quickly recovered and laughing, explained, Jeremy is my brother. He came to town and I'm showing him around. We're actually in a bit of a hurry. Sorry. Craig assured her that everything was fine and asked her to say hi to Russell. They said their goodbyes and separated. As he gazed intently into Jeremy's face, he sensed the tension of the situation. Ellie's reaction, her haste, and the apparent lack of communication between the two confused him for a moment. However, after the phone call from the client, his attention shifted, pushing his doubts to the background and immersing him in the flow of work and events. Behind all of this, Craig had completely forgotten about the situation in the park. He was not even surprised by the absence of a call from Ruslan, who usually contacted him after such meetings. Only a few months later, his friend finally got in touch. One evening, Russell called him with a joyful voice and informed him that he would soon become a father. Craig congratulated him sincerely, knowing how long he and his wife had been waiting for this moment. Near the end of the year, in the winter, Russell even invited Craig to come to the birthing center for the discharge. They celebrated this event together, taking their time and enjoying each other's company. However, after that there was a period of calm. Russell and his wife were completely immersed in taking care of the baby. Their whole world revolved around the baby. Although they occasionally exchanged messages, they had not seen each other for over a year. One day, driving through the neighborhood where Russell lived, Craig happened to run into him on the street. Russell was walking with a stroller, and Craig impatiently called out to his friend. Russell gestured for him to be quiet as the baby was napping. It turned out that Russell's wife had sent him for a walk with their son so that she could get some rest and relaxation. The friends struck up a conversation. Craig looked at the little boy and questioned whether he looked more like his mother than him. He joked that the child didn't seem to have inherited anything from him. However, the joke suddenly lost its humor as a memory flashed through Craig's mind. He remembered seeing his wife with a stranger, whom she had introduced as her brother, just before they had learned of her pregnancy. Suspicion crept into Craig's thoughts, and he seriously wondered if his friend had considered the possibility that the child might not be his. Russell looked at him incredulously, chuckling at the sudden doubt. Craig, however, sighed and continued to recount what he had witnessed in the park that afternoon his wife with another man. Russell's laughter dissipated as he comprehended the information he had received. He reflected on the fact that his wife had made no mention of meeting Craig, nor had she mentioned any relatives visiting her at the time. Thoughts of doubt clouded Russell's mind, shaking his former euphoria at becoming the father of his own child. He had always thought that he and his wife had a strong relationship, but now he doubted her fidelity. Just when they were ready to give up trying, she miraculously became pregnant, which brought even more uncertainty to the situation. Russell thanked his friend for telling him what had happened, even though it had happened a long time ago. That evening, Russell anxiously awaited his wife's return, realizing that they had an important conversation to have. Sitting silently in the kitchen, 
He thought about all the suspicious cases that he had not paid attention to before. During their unsuccessful attempts to conceive a child, he had sensed that his wife was becoming increasingly distant from him. She didn't say directly that she had changed her mind, but her look gave it away. A noticeable distance had developed between them, which Russell attributed to her hormonal changes. To confirm his suspicions, the man decided to call his mother-in-law and inquire about a certain Jeremy, who claimed to be Ellie's brother. He covered up this unusual question by mentioning that a man had visited their home in Ellie's absence and introduced himself as her brother. Unfortunately, his fears were confirmed when his mother-in-law confirmed that there was no such person among Ellie's relatives. After hanging up the phone, Ellie returned home. While she checked on the baby, Russell took the opportunity to strike up a conversation. He began by subtly mentioning Jeremy, who had recently come to visit them. Russell deliberately did not elaborate on their relationship and watched Ellie's reaction. However, she avoided making eye contact and looked away at every mention of his name. She looked tense, but tried to hide it. In a calm tone, her husband asked, do you know him, dear? Ellie turned visibly pale and remained motionless for several seconds. She opened and closed her mouth, looking like a fish gasping for air. Concerned, Russell reached out to put his arm around her and asked, Did he want to see his child? This statement struck Ellie like a lightning strike. She struggled to regain her composure and replied, Yes, he's a former colleague. But why did he want to see our child? Russell decided to provoke her further, asking if she had cheated on him and suggesting a paternity test. His words startled Ellie, and she lost control of herself for a moment. Eventually, she managed to pull herself together and exclaimed, I went through so much suffering to give you a son, and this is how you treat me. Remaining calm, Russell replied, If this baby is really mine, why do you bother? Anger engulfed Ellie, which was evident from the expression on her face. Forgetting about the sleeping baby, she erupted, accusing her husband of shirking responsibility and calling him a coward. She threatened to leave for her mother's house and vowed never to see Russell again. With tears in her eyes, she hurriedly gathered her things. With the help of forensic examination, it turned out, unfortunately, Russell was not his father. After this discovery, Ellie and Russell went through a scandalous divorce Russell was furious and devastated. By then, he had fully accepted the role of father and had become very attached to the little bundle of joy. Throughout this difficult period, Craig was by Russell's side, providing unwavering support. Ellie sought comfort in the house of her parents, having not communicated with her lover for a long time. However, feeling vulnerable, she tried to establish a relationship with him. However, Jeremy had already withdrawn and started a family of his own. He no longer cared about Ellie. Vainly trying to deceive her husband, Ellie ended up losing herself.